Hello, congratulations, you found another tool review on Sane Auto. I'm Victor Sane, and we have found a very cheap plier set. It's about a third of what a regular hose plier set costs. Is it going to make me bleed? Are they going to fall apart? We're about to find out. Insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. Now, first of all, it's called a nine-piece set. And like all the nine-piece sets, it doesn't actually have nine pliers in here. It has seven pliers in here. But the this long-reach set of pliers usually cost more than this whole set. <laughs> then it has an overgrown pick reaching in between whatever and the hose and pulling back at that hose. But you're going to rip and tear and destroy the hose if you try to pull that all the way off. So you get that under there and you try to go around the hose and break it loose and, and get it to pull back a little bit. So you can take this set of pliers right here and reach down in there and squeeze that and push the hose the rest of the way off of whatever it's on. Now there is a screwdriver here and it does flip over. And if you don't know how to use a screwdriver, then unsubscribe and turn in your man card. This feels really cheesy, like this little plastic handle is going to break the first time you drop it on the concrete floor. And, but the rest of these feel pretty solid. And first thing I like about them is they do have this ratcheting lock. So we'll see just how well that works. Now the angle pliers are probably the ones I use the most because they'll reach into the most places and they'll still get those easy to reach places even though you don't really need the long angles for that. These open up pretty wide, that's a pretty big clamp. You wanna use this grooved portion for your wide part of the clamp. Goes in there and let's see if that lock works. No, it does not hold very well on its own. You gotta push it in to try to give it some help. And even then, it's epic fail useless. That little locking mechanism is very disappointing and useless. So if you want your locking mechanism to work, you're gonna have to pay four or five times as much for a decent set of pliers. I would see, foresee in the future, me cutting that off with a die grinder and throwing it away because it doesn't work. It's just in the way. What does work, at least for now, we don't know how many times it's going to work. We'll have to find out later. It does pinch the hose clamp and opens it up. And it's not falling to pieces yet. But that ratcheting lock does not work. It's absolutely useless. Let's see if the ratcheting lock works on this pair. And what I noticed about this pair right off the bat is that this part of the handle actually comes together too, too far. Take for instance this pair of pliers. You can squeeze it that far together and if your pinky gets in the middle, right there, no matter how much you squeeze, it's not really pinching your pinky that much. But these right here, man, that's like catching your finger in the door. Okay, let's see what we got. We won't do that big a clamp. Do nothing to that big a clamp. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's much better on this style of clamp anyway. See what style I'm mucking with? All right, so grab hold of it. And let's see if the ratcheting lock works on this pair. Oh, the ratcheting lock actually works on that pair of pliers. You have little letters here to identify which pliers are. If you look at the other unbranded sets, the letters are pretty consistent from set to set. But if you do want to see them better, then get the red set, not the blue set, because if you get the red set and you want to be able to see the letters better, you can take a black Sharpie and highlight the letters. Or just Sharpie your own letters in there. That's still holding that clamp. Let's make it nice and tight. It won't go to the next notch. It's got other notches, but it won't go to it. Well, I guess because the clamp is bottomed out. With the 
with that clamp in there, you can't really pinch your pinky, but I'm not going to press my luck because if that breaks and I've got my pinky in there, it's going to smash the heck out of it. Blood's going to squirt out. Can get on the camera. I'm going to have to clean that off. Go on to the next victim. Who is the lucky guy? Okay, this set of pliers right here, obviously, for things like CV joints. Let's see if I've got a clamp for that here. Okay, here's what that type of clamp looks like. And not only do you find these on CV joints, but my Jaguar fuel injectors are just infested with these. Of course, it is a V12, so there's a lot of them. Now, here's another style of clamp I run into a lot. Usually doing fuel pumps. And this set of E pliers seems very well suited for these. And since the ratcheting mechanism does work on this set of pliers, I'll probably use these quite a lot for this. I wish the ratcheting mechanism worked well. They kind of get stuck in there. Did you see that? That's a pain. Look. Ah, get off me! Ah! Yeah, I wish this ratchet worked better because this would be the set I would use the most. Because with that bit of an angle, it's easier to get down into places. And they'll still work on this style of clamp. Now, let's see, because this is the most valuable thing in the set. Let's see if this will work and not break on the first try. This also has a ratcheting mechanism that we do not know if it's gonna work or not, but we're about to find out. Okay, the ratchet mechanism does work on these and it's sitting there holding the clamp. And let's see, put some more pressure on it. See if that whole thing just falls to pieces, which it did not. And the ratchet is mechanism is still holding. Let's try a bigger clamp. Let's see if a bigger clamp with more power will kill this thing. Let go of that. Back in your hole. All right. So we've got a bigger, stronger clamp here. Well, let's see if this part falls apart. Oh. oh, the ratcheting mechanism failed me. It let go. Yep, it slips on the first two notches. Doesn't hold very well. So you cannot trust the racket. You cannot trust the ratcheting mechanism. Don't put your fingers right there while <laughs> that ratchet lets go of pop. Those things will give you blood blisters. These things right here, man, I tell you what, they slip off of there and smack you. They will give you blood blisters. They hit you in the nail, they'll turn the nail black too. All right. Well, it's holding now and it's got all that pressure on it. And I'm in the danger zone. Dare me? Woo! Oh, that would have hurt. All right. Well, give me some torture tests in the comments. Uh, some things you'd like me to do with these over the next month or two. Just really see if they'll hold up. Of course, I'm going to use them in actual repairs, auto repairs. And if they don't fall apart doing that, they're probably not going to. Of course, the uh, ratcheting mechanism is already gone in this one and that was going to be i'll probably be using that more than anything else a lot of these bigger clamps and stuff these these two pairs of pliers just just won't work for most of these most of these other clamps i mean
like those right there they've got that split there's it can't get hold of them so for fuel and stuff but these right here get it right there and you got to get extremely wide you can't really get your hand around it once it's that wide i mean look at that and i got big hands i mean it'll do it but it's terribly uncomfortable Yeah, you see the first real job on a real car, and it's the angle pliers that I need. Those are the ones that came with the little clamps messed up. The ratcheting mechanisms messed up, but hey, it moved that clamp quick and in a hurry. No problem. Take our separators. And these need to have an angle too. Need some angled separators because they just won't fit in there. Back to the old flathead screwdriver. Yeah, that thing is useless. We gotta need a real screwdriver. I don't know why they even bothered to waste money in manufacturing resources on making that little tiny screwdriver thing. That is just a waste of space. I wonder how much extra money per year it costs them just for the extra weight and shipping for that useless little screwdriver thing. Next we need a set of hose clamps. Get the clamp off to keep from having all this stuff pouring out everywhere. Sometimes you gotta hold the tension on the clamp and push the hose up there at the same time. And that's when you really don't want your clamp pliers breaking and smacking you in the hand. All right, it's on there. They didn't break. It passed one test anyway. All right, now on this job, we have a perfect opportunity to test out the long reach. And I know you can't see this down in there, but there is a clamp down in there you cannot you cannot even see and I totally missed it did not get it I can't see it either so I don't feel too bad I get to just reach in there and feel for it I tell you one of the things that gets in the way is the little spring kind of gets in the way it's not going to work without having that spring on it so it has to be there yeah, I think I've got it but I can't see it any more than you guys can so just having a feel of it and it is holding the clamp it is working 
I hope it doesn't slip off because my fingers are all over it. A blood blister coming. If that thing slips off, it's going to hurt. So come on, tool, don't fall apart. Come on, tool, don't fall apart, don't fall apart. All right. That's time to get the real screwdriver to the hose. Knock the hose off of there. And the ratchet thing is holding. So that is good. That thing is actually working. It's working. It's working and it is way easier than the the regular angled pliers. So, so far, this tool is an asset. And if this thing works and holds up, then that will be worth the money I paid for the whole kit. And that is the wrong hose I'm taking loose and the wrong clamps. And now I gotta put it back on there. Don't you hate it when you do that? You think you're having fun, you end up, you got hold of the wrong hose. Okay, got to test out the long reach pliers, didn't we? Okay, now, we release the ratchet, release the clamp, and there we go. Okay, now the other one has a regular, the one I actually need to be getting hold of has a regular gear clamp on there so let me go get my socket and do that and then we'll put the spring clamp on it when we put it back and use the pliers again okay now we got that old hose off and it had a gear clamp which I dropped and it went probably all the way to the ground I hope it's not laying in the engine bay somewhere I will have to find it later y'all get to see all the bloopers today all right so we're putting the other hose in and we'll put a, a spring clamp on the new hose and I gotta get down in there with this on there. Okay, okay. Hey, we'll just right. Again, you can't see this, but if this thing comes apart, breaks, you'll be able to see that. Blood squirts everywhere, you'll probably be able to see that too. Hey, it's working. Oh, the ratchet mechanism give out on me and let go. Okay, so you, you can't really count on this ratchet mechanism because sometimes it holds and sometimes it lets go. So I'm going to push on it a little get give it some help so that hopefully it'll stay this time. Hopefully the higher priced you got a higher price when it don't do that. So just be prepared. If you buy this cheaper set, you're going to have to put up with these ratcheting mechanisms being unreliable at best. And some of them like the, the angled one, it just downright doesn't work at all. Ever. 100% doesn't work. This one works. It's a some timer. It works sometimes. I've still got hold of the clamp, but I'm having to rotate it a little bit to make room for the pliers mechanism in order to push the clamp up on the hose where it needs to be because it is a little bit bulky. So that is another concern. Uh, but the higher priced ones, that part of the mechanism is the same size as well. So you're not going to benefit from paying more in that respect but you should have a more reliable ratcheting mechanism for the higher price tools branded tools and when I say branded I mean well known brands because these come in a lot of lesser known brands at this cheap price and, and they're pretty much the same tool from the same place so you're going to have the same problems And of course, there'll be a link in the description to these. The really good ones you'll have to get off of the tool truck. 
And like I said, you're gonna pay four or five times as much money for the set off the tool truck. It is on there. We have actually accomplished something with these cheap little things. Well, I mean, they're not perfect, but they work. So in conclusion, hey, they work at least once or twice. We don't know how many times they'll work before they start falling apart. But in this kind of budget, if it's this or nothing, they're at least better than nothing. But hey, don't expect the quality of a tool truck set. They're, they're not on the level of a Mac, Matco, Snap-on, something like that. They're not even on the level of a Craftsman. So just keep that in mind. And yes, I cheated and put gloves on. Just remember, clean the blood off your tools before you put them away. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Saint Auto. Binge watch Saint Auto. Binge watch Saint Auto.